All right, how can we start today, man? Um, we got Most Def and Drake. We got Young Miami versus DJ Academics. And we got Young Dolph, Young Dolph crew going crazy in Memphis, man. I don't know. Let's just start off with some hip hop, man. Let's keep it, let's keep it cool to start off but it's been a crazy week every week man it'd be like this every week but it just you just never know well yasin bay also known as most deaf was doing um he was doing an interview and during the interview he was asked if drake is hip-hop now y'all know how we feel about Drake, you know what I'm saying? I know that y'all, I know that y'all actually only really listen to Drake mostly when I uh play Drake during the show. Everybody is not a big Drake fan. But the question had came about if Drake was hip hop. Uh, let's get into it. Let, let's see if we can pull up that part of the interview and see. Uh, Let's hear from Yasin Bay. If you don't know, most deaf, um, who known for Miss Fat Booty, and um, I don't, know, I can't really think of Black Star. He was in the group Black Star. I can't really think of any of his other songs. I don't really want to um, use my brain right now. But most deaf, also known as Yasin Bay, is um, one of hip hop's dopest lyricists. And you know, he don't really like, he stay on the ground, whatever. But he was asked a question about Drake being pop. Is Drake hip hop or is he pop? And um, before I give my answer, I'm just gonna play the clip. Let's get into it. Like, is Drake hip hop? Why you doing this to me? Drake is pop to me. In the sense, like, if I was in Target, in Houston, and I heard a Drake song. It feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> Commercial music. Or as, or as you know, music. shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, I, it's, I, I it's get commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. Likable. Um, but is it. <laughs> he had to think about it, too. He's about to bust out laughing. He's about to bust out laughing, man. Yeah, man. Y'all seen Bay, man. They put him on the spot with that one, man. And a lot of folks didn't like that, man. A lot of folks got on to him, man. It was like, oh, man, he hating on Drake. He hating on Drake. But it gets a little deeper. It gets a little deeper, man. Because uh, I don't know. If you ask me, I've been saying that Drake is uh, pop. I think that a lot of artists are pop. Matter of fact, hip-hop as a whole has went to a pop zone. Like Jack Harlow, Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj, Drake. Lil Uzi Vert. I mean, it's a lot of pop. And, it, and and I don't really know why people was mad because it's not like hip hop can't be pop. And actually saying pop is not really saying that it's bad, but it's saying exactly that. He's a pop artist. He even got a song called Pop Star. So I don't really even know why everybody was mad, but uh, it gets deeper. It gets deeper. We're going to move on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so many. So many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many products. So much merchandising. So oh, many I barcodes. Love I love this mall. <laughs> Look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. Everything's here. They have everything here. Oh, this is great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. So, is that hate? Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? What happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? 
Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the pom poms? So is Drake pop? And was that hate? Now I ain't gonna lie, when he said so many skews, look at all the products. <laughs> that was the part. <laughs> that was, excuse me, man. <clears throat> that was the part. So many skews. But what happens when this thing starts to collapse? I think Tony Red been um been hinting on this whole thing starting to collapse. If you don't know, go listen to Tony Red 2080 featuring T. Gibbons. You know, what we gonna do in the year 2080, man? What kind of message are you passing on in your music? That's basically what he's saying. And and with a responsibility of being one of the biggest artists in hip hop, what is Drake passing on with his music in 2024? Now, Drake um, responded. He uh, posted this video of um, it was a video of Method Man breaking down what hip hop was. Um, and Drake also. Um, he might have said a few uh, lines um, that most deaf has used in his music. Let's uh, let's see that video real quick. Hip hop is a culture. It's a way of life. The way you dress, the way you talk, the way you walk, the break dancing, the rhymes, the stage shows, the DJ, the mixing, the scratching, the wordplay. That's hip hop. The, 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 the staircase MC. You know what I'm saying? House party, block parties. Rec room parties, all that is hip hop. We tag is hip hop. Uh, could you uh, would you mind hitting us with a little freestyle before? Um, nah, we don't need to hit us with. Nah, 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 nah. Freestyle, but me, wow. Nah, 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 nah. We don't need to hit no freestyle. You know, we don't even want to get Marcus Matrix going because you know how he feel about Wu Tang. Um, Tony Gibbons. I mean, yeah, Tony, Tony Gibbons. That might be a good uh, project too, Tony Gibbons. Anyway, Tony Red says, exactly, he has no substance. What is he saying? It's nothing wrong with that, but every song gets old. So how do y'all feel, man? Is it like mall music? Is it so many skews, like my boy was saying? You know, is it like walking through Target and pushing a red cart, you know? Just looking around, smiling, like everything is okay, like you're a Stepford wife. You're just walking around just with a smile on your face. Meanwhile, everything around you is collapsing. But there's so many products. We all know how uh, DMX felt about Drake. He he showed it and pulled no punches. Rest in peace, DMX. Um, if you didn't see how DMX felt, uh, check this one out. I don't like anything about Drake. Mm -hmm. Mom, I don't like his voice. I don't, I don't like I don't, he talks about. I don't. I don't. Jeez, talk, I be trying to tell like his face. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the way he walks. Like nothing. I don't like his haircut. <laughs> I might just let, let me shut up. <laughs> I'll just stop right there. Oh my God. Uh, necessary uh, in the game, right oh, there. Man. Now, why don't you like Drake? I don't like anything about Drake. I mean, that's the MS. Is rest in peace. You know, X is kind of you know. Dark Man X, you know, it's kind of anti Drake. It's kind of on the other side of Drake. Um, you got the dark side, and so that's can be that can be expected. That um, DMX is not gonna really kind of vibe Drake music like that. But rest in peace, DMX, man. He he showed it and pulled no punches. He he, he let it be known, um, ASAP how he felt. But most def didn't really stop there you know when 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 you actually think about it what happens when everything collapses and we're kind of in the middle of the collapse of hip-hop 2023 was kind of a trash year if you ask me there was not really much substance in the music 
And we're not talking about Tony Red. We know Tony Red got, you know, substance. And we know there are artists that's out there. Uh, D1 Music, if you listen to DJ Shed on Sunday Morning Mixtape, he plays uh, artists with substance. And, you know, you got your J. Coles. You got your Kendrick still killing it with the substance. But, again, a lot of artists are just giving a whole lot of fluff. And then it gets a little deeper, man. Um, let me let Yasin Bey preach to y'all about, you know, what he means when he says the collapse and what's going to happen when it collapses. You know, we've never all we've never had floor seats to this. You know, the situation in the Congo is dire. The situation in Sudan is gross. You know, like this thing of like. Uh, normalizing this type of barbarity and making children subject to it. And then when you when you read the record of history, how like this is par for the course, you know, this is par for the course for what they do. What is known as the United States of America is a colonial settler project, almost like inherently the Massachusetts Bay Colony, all of these, uh, uh, com- th- these were corporate concerns that were charged, chartered, funded to conquer the new world. Yeah, which ma- manifest destiny. Already been there and to plunder it for the sake of the crown, the cross, the king, the so and so and so and so and so and so. And they paved over it and built a parking lot and put them all on top and everybody just blithely goes their way. Now, that's been working for some time now. And working is a very loosely <laughs> defined uh, term. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, that's a king, but what's the crown to the clouds? Mm. Right? You know, and uh, the, the kingdoms come and go. You know, as the Hopi chief said famously in one of his uh, one of his exchanges, he said, "We were told that America was the thing that we would see come and go." Mm. So this idea of permanence uh, 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 via brute force is just not historically supported. And if you doubt it, well, then you go to any museum of antiquity and see where all of the thugging gets the thugs. <laughs> It comes to an end. It does. And a, a messy end, and it's never to their benefit. So I, I guess everybody who sells dope is like, nah, I see, but what I'm going to do, it's like, okay, well, you know, the dope game is cursed, and so is the dope. Mm-hmm. So you are good luck with that. The now, there's, there's people who will oppose at every level. There are people who are in the active, like, hand-to-hand struggle, and that's a, each one is called for what they are called for. But for no, people Captain. that are not called to actually having to fight in that way, then support the advancement of humanity. Mm. My boy TJ, TC say, what is he talking about? I mean, don't let it go over your head, my brother. Don't let it go over your head, my brother. It's just a disgusting world out here when you actually really open your eyes and open your ears and don't blind yourself on what's going on in the world. You know, sometimes on the show, we actually try to shy away from some of the more serious topics. We, you know, we we bring around serious topics on part two, but it can get very, very dark. It can get, you know, spooky out here if you kind of just talked about all the crazy stuff that's going on. Um. Yeah, man. He talking about society. See, see, they schooling you. They schooling you in the uh, in the comments. Uh, TC in the advancement of the 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 cosmic situation that every human being is to destroy it and to uh, to rob it of um, vitality mm. or to try to steal its joy, even to attempt to do it is 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 a is a grave disorder. They will be punished, and the, the reckoning is not only not, not not only coming; it is here from ends that the, that the oppressor does not yet perceive, and mm-hmm. the, the last ones to know. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And by the mm-hmm. time that they realize it, it's already too late. So I know it's heartbreaking. You should be heartbroken. That means your heart is working. That means your heart You're is heartbroken working. and it's distressing. That means that you are you are sane. You are a functioning individual. If you are uncomfortable and you're maladjusted to a sick society, it means that you are healthy. I am uh, mourning for all of us, but also I'm you know I I didn't get bombed today. Right. Uh, literally, but figuratively, we're all getting carpet bombed. Mm-hmm. Even the carpet bombers. That is correct. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Again, man, most deaf, Yasin Bay, dropping knowledge for these folks, man. It just started out on some is it pop or hip hop, and then you know it kind of it kind of went somewhere else. But you can't let it go over your head, man. Again, um, just prepare yourself. Prepare your heart. Prepare your, prepare your mind. Um, get a little more eclectic with your thoughts and the things that you talk that you that you listening to. The things that you're talking about. Uh, Shed Street says he's talking about America using capitalism and brute force to take over. Going to fall like the Romans, the Greeks, Babylonians, the Nazis. Et cetera, et cetera. My boy, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get, don't get, got day DJ Shed started. Cause you know, even uh, the other week, our, uh, Nino uh, Downs was saying, you know, the Nephilims, you know what I'm saying? There was a, it might, maybe a Nephilim sighting. While some folks, you know, didn't really know how to interpret that. Some folks was uh, interpreting it as aliens. But how would you interpret, um, seeing an angel or seeing a god or seeing a demon even how would you be able to interpret it you know some of these uh folks got demons in them and sometimes they're not even trying to um code their message their message is easily decoded you know you really don't have to decipher the message Oh, Illuminati. Illuminati that came in here. The Nephilims have been here, Illuminati says on uh, Facebook, man. Yeah, man. So we got the we got the chats going crazy on the Facebook. We got the chats going crazy on the Twitch. And again, man, it just gets deeper than rap. Um, like my boy Rick Ross say, man, it gets deeper than rap. And again, we were just initially saying, is Drake pop? And it's not a bad thing if he is, you know. My man's making his money. So a lot of folks didn't really like, they, they didn't like the message that um, Yasin Bey was uh, passing through the airwaves, through the frequencies. They didn't like that, man. And they came at uh, most Def saying, like, when was his last hit? He's hating, you know, um, Drake is a better rapper than Yasin Bey or, you know, most Def, however you want to, like, call it. Uh, Illuminati say, hey, he's Canadian. Why would he care? I mean, he's of this world, isn't he? Or may, or or is he? <laughs> anyway, man, I ain't really finna go no deeper than that, man. Like I said, man, I feel like a lot of the hip hop music has turned to pop. And really, if you want to pop, you better be making some pop. And um, meanwhile, the underground is a uh, brewing and there's a message going through the underground. If you dig what I'm saying, man. Yes, sir. You're listening to Doja Toja Radio. I've been on my Drake ish lately. I'm toxic as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Stripper pop, man. Stripper pop. Yeah. I mean, turn up. It's, it was your son's birthday the other day, man. Happy birthday to your son. You know, Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody you know who checking in once again, man. Um, yeah, man, but I ain't wanna take I ain't wanna take y'all, you know, 